the parvo virus is a virus that could be very deadly to young puppies and to young adult dogs. This is something you need to watch out for. Today, I'm going to show you how to prevent it and easy, obvious signs that your dog has parvo and you need to get your dog to the vet immediately. So keep watching. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, my name is Ruben and today I want to talk about the parvo virus. In my Facebook group with a bunch of pit bull owners, I'm starting to see a lot more people talk about the parvo virus. Their dog may have contracted it and um, they're trying to figure out ways they can ease it and help it and cure it. So I'm going to give you obvious signs and what to do once you detect there's parvo virus and your dog is sick. But before we get started, I just want to announce that Black Friday is starting early for the Top Bullies brand, and we're going to have our biggest sale of the year. If you want to jump first in line before anybody else for our Black Friday sale, there'll be a link in the description where you can sign up to our early bird list. You'll be first in line and notified before anyone else our biggest sale of the year. Now I want to talk a little bit about parvovirus. If you're not sure, maybe you're a new owner and you never heard of it before, I just want to give you a quick rundown on what it is. Canine parvovirus is a highly contagious virus that can affect all dogs, but unvaccinated dogs and puppies younger than four months old are at most risk. Dogs that are ill from canine parvovirus infection are often said to have parvo. That's like a little short name for it. The virus is spread by direct dog-to-dog -dog contact and contact with contaminated feces like their stools and environments or people. The virus can also contaminate kennel surfaces, food and water bowls, collars and leashes in the hands and clothing of people who have handled infected dogs. It is a tricky virus because it's literally in most surfaces. Now here are signs of parvovirus you should look out for. Some of the signs of parvovirus include lethargy, loss of appetite, abdominal pain and bloating, fever or low body temperature, they're vomiting and severe, often bloody diarrhea. Persistent vomiting and diarrhea could cause rapid dehydration and damage to the intestines and immune system. If your puppy or dog shows any of these signs, you should contact your veterinarian immediately. Most deaths from parvovirus occur within 48 to 72 hours following the onset of clinical signs. Treatment should be started immediately and consists primarily of intensive care efforts to combat dehydration by replacing electrolyte protein and fluid losses, controlling the vomiting and diarrhea, and preventing secondary infections that your dog could get. When a dog develops parvo, treatment can be very expensive and the dog may die despite aggressive treatment. So early recognition and aggressive treatment are very important if you want to try and save your dog's life. Obviously, it's important to deep clean all your surfaces of your home and to isolate your sick dog to help battle the virus. Now, here are ways you can prevent the parvo virus, all right? Vaccination and good hygiene are critical for prevention. Young puppies are very vulnerable to the infection, particularly because of the natural immunity provided in their mother's milk, may wear off before the puppy's own immune systems are mature enough to fight off the infection. They have very weak immune systems in that little bit of gap, so you need to keep that in control. It's important to note even vaccinated puppies may occasionally be infected by the parvovirus and develop the disease. To reduce gaps in protection and provide the best protection of the parvovirus during the first few months of the life, a series of puppy vaccinations are administered. Puppies should receive a dose of canine parvovirus vaccine between ages 14 and 16 weeks of age regardless of how much doses they received earlier to develop a good protection around them. To protect their adult dogs, pet owners should be sure the dogs are parvovirus vaccination is up to date. Until a puppy has received this complete series of vaccinations, pet owners should use caution when bringing their pet to places where young puppies could go, such as pet shops, there's parks, there's puppy classes, obedience training classes, you know, the dog daycares, any other kennels and grooming places. Finally, do not let your puppy or adult dog come into contact with the fecal waste or some of the poo that's out there in the dog parks while walking or playing outdoors. If you happen to have a sick or unvaccinated dog, it's important to have consideration for others' pets and do not take it outside or in public places until they're fully vaccinated or they're not sick anymore. This could really help 
save lives of other pets, especially around this time period. I'm seeing a boost and a lot of these dogs getting parvo virus. So we want to prevent it. Do your part and everybody uh, does their part, hopefully, and we can prevent parvo virus in dogs. Just know that it's an ugly virus that could be preventable if you do your part. That's not something we want our dogs to have, especially if we're spending tons of money on these dogs and trying to do our best to be prepared for these dogs. We want to actually have the dog, all right? So if you like this video, hit that like button below. If you found this video helpful or valuable to you, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos that are like this on the channel and they're coming. And if you want to be first in line for our Black Friday sale, our biggest sale of the year, ton of new products for your dog, there'll be a link in the description where you can go and sign up. Thank you, and I will see you on the next one. I am out.